Okay, in this video, we're going to go into a bit more detail when it comes to the licensing, the site roles, what you can and can't do within those roles, right? And again, like I mentioned earlier, uh, if you go online, these this information is kind of split in a lot of different places. Sometimes it's just talking about server access. Sometimes it's just talking about publishing. Sometimes it's talking about data sources. So I've compiled it as much as I can. If you find something that is inconsistent with your experience, please let me know and I will update this document. And so just be sure to download the latest version on this video. Okay, so let's scroll in. Now there's really one, two, three, four, five sections that I did. So the first one is site and user management. This is more like servers, Tableau Online, managing the site itself, right? Analysis is... Um, not necessarily Tableau desktop kind of analysis, that's kind of a given. Analysis more to do with the things you can do online, right, in terms of like machine learning or natural language, kind of more built-in analysis features, okay. Publishing and editing, so this is all about file creation, data source, oh sorry, not data source, file creation, dashboard creation, publishing. Data sources is the next one, which means publishing them, accessing them, publishing flows from Tableau Prep, and the last one is just interacting. So that's viewing the, the dashboards, using filters, creating subscriptions, alerts, mostly the cloud kind of collaboration features. All right, so I'm not gonna cover every single one in detail because it's kind of a bit much, but what you really wanna just notice is you've got the four, well, it's really three license types, right? So you've got creator, right? You've got explorer, viewer, and then none, which is kind of the unlicensed one. Basically, you haven't paid for a license for this particular person. And straight off the bat, you'll see the unlicensed can't really do anything. You can't do anything. You got no license, right? So you got to you got to pay to play. Okay. If we look at viewer, there's very little that you can do. So you can see these two, which is really about servers, right? View lineage impact and see data quality warnings. Now, lineage, right? Again, I'm not an expert in servers, but with lineage, it's really to understand that when you have all the information, all the data, and it's feeding on all sorts of places, right? It kind of becomes like a tangled web. So if I delete something by accident, what's the impact? Will it cause 15 dashboards to suddenly go down, right? So in the past, it's really, it's kind of difficult to see that unless you've done it after the fact or you check every single file, is it using this data? So what this feature lets you do is actually look at a file and say it's connected to this many and if you delete it, it's gonna impact those in this way, right? Now you can see that there's a star and there's kind of notes here on left and right. So you've got the data management add-on, right? Which you can pay for in addition to your, I think Tableau server, it's not very expensive. I think it's like maybe a few hundred dollars extra which will give you those extra features again i'm not going to go into too much detail with that if you scroll down further this column right here is your viewer column and you can see that you can do quite a bit you can browse it you can download pictures so you can make presentations you can download summary data you interact with dashboards you can view on your web and your mobile so view embedded content means um, you can take dashboards that have been published to a different website. Let's say it's been embedded into Salesforce. You can view that dashboard via Salesforce, okay? Um, you can do custom views, comments, subscriptions, data-driven alerts, but then creating subscriptions for others, data-driven alerts. I think that's a kind of a, no, it's not a double up. The first one is receiving them, but you can't create them, okay? You can't download full data sets. You can only take kind of the summary version. So if you remember from our view data button in Tableau Online, maybe I can have one open. Let's see if I can get one. So let's say I've got a, have we got the MBA salaries here? All right, so let's say I wanna look at this data. I can click here, better finish rendering. Okay, click on this button with the view data and you'll have those three views, right? So you got summary, that's all you'll be able to download. You won't be able to click on full data, that just won't be there at all, okay? So that's what you'll miss out on. Let's go back here. 
All right. So that's pretty much what a viewer can do. So it's really good for people who they're not designers. They're not going to do any web editing. They're not going to do any analysis. They just want to see the results as is. So that's great for viewers. All right. The next one is Explorer. So with Explorer, you get a hell of a lot more features, right, in Explorer. And there's kind of three subsections of Explorer. The first one is, if I zoom in here, is site administrator. So site admin in a nutshell means you can do everything, right? You are not restricted in any way. If someone publishes a dashboard, you can make modifications to it. Like you've got complete back end control, right? What you can't do is publish new data, right? You can't publish new dashboards. You can't do anything in Tableau desktop. You can't um, access data. So uh, you can access data sources but only ones that have already been published, right? So you would have to do your builds via web editing, right? So not the best when it comes to really intricate work. Web editing is good for kind of, in my opinion, more basic things, right? but nothing too comprehensive. The next one is Explorer. So think of Explorer as you can view any data, right? You can interact with it. You can't do anything site-based. You can't add users. You can't manage roles. You can't do anything like that. But you can publish. But it's kind of with an asterisk, really. What you can publish is only anything using existing data sources. That means someone else has already published it to the cloud. You can connect to that. And then you can publish off that. But you can't do it via Tableau desktop, right? Because then otherwise you would be a creator license, OK? And then Explorer is the same thing, but you can't publish. All right, so if we go down a little bit, let me get my, out of my drawing tool. Let's look at some of these features. So again, you get those early features, same as Tableau Viewer. With the site admin right, level, you can get this, which is managing your users, um, adding users, performing things regardless of permissions. But again, that's only for the admin. For the entire Explorer, you can do the ask data and explain data. So these are your natural language processing, your machine learning algorithms to actually explain the data. That's all available via web edit. You get obviously web editing. You can publish some dashboards here. You can save new ones off das, uh, data sources. Uh, you can move some files. You can delete files and so on. Now here I made an asterisk if you're a project leader. So if you're the if you publish a data source, regardless of this right because you're the one that created it you get full access to that file but that's only because you're the one who created it okay all right let's scroll down a bit okay so data sources you can see it's all blanked out can't do anything and in terms of browsing you can do everything right you can download full data sets you can interact with it you can filter you can create alerts you can do subscriptions and so on now the last one is creator so creator right role here Let's start with server admin. So what is the difference between a server admin and a site admin? Right? Because for a while, last few days, I'm like, there is no difference. I couldn't figure it out. But actually, here's the difference. If you are using a on-premises server, which means you have a server like in your basement, on the roof, in the parking lot, whatever it may be, that you guys control, you host it, you manage it, you maintain it, you will need a server administrator someone who manages the server itself. So that means you'll be looking at the um, the server performance. You'll be looking at what else is here. You can check the, you can do all the maintenance, the settings, schedules, search index, um, ability to add site administrators, which is kind of like the level down. So you have complete access to everything, right? That's the deal, right? So you can see it's, everything is ticked. Right. The next level down is your site administrator. So here's where it's slightly different. If you are using just Tableau online, that means like as an administrator, you can think of it as Tableau themselves are managing the server. So you don't need a server administrator. You just need someone to manage the site. You know, things like creating folders, introducing users, that kind of thing. But you're not doing anything server-based. Oops, there was a fly on my mic. Um, you're not doing anything server-based. You're not checking maintenance. Hence, that is really the only difference, right? Accessing and creating sites, controlling site administrators, additional server administration, uh, maintenance settings, and so on. Everything else is the same. So in a nutshell, 
this is a great kind of reference table so you know what to apply to certain people okay and i think that is all i have to say about that so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time